nonlinear optical devices. Is it possible to change the color of a monochromatic light? Say you have an input of a red light passing through an NLO sample. Do you think it would be possible to produce a, an output of a different colored light? Well, not without a laser light. Nicholas Blumbergen, born in 1920, has carried out pioneering studies in nonlinear optics since the early 1960s. He shared the 1981 Nobel Prize with Arthur Schwallow. Let's compare linear optics with nonlinear optics. In linear optics, optical properties such as the refractive index and the absorption coefficients are independent of light intensity. The principle of superposition also holds true in linear optics. In linear optics, the frequency of light cannot be altered by its passage through the medium. And light cannot interact with light, which means that two beams of light in the same region of a linear optical medium can have no effect on each other, thus light cannot control light. Nonlinear optics, on the other hand, states that the refractive index and consequently the speed of light in an optical medium does change with the light intensity. The principle of superposition is violated. Light can alter its frequency as it passes through a nonlinear optical material, for example a crystal, and it can turn red light to blue light. And light can control light, which means that photons do interact or undergo entanglement. In nonlinear optics, light interacts with light via the medium. The presence of an optical field modifies the properties of the medium, which in turn modify another optical field or even the original field itself. In linear optics, which is said to be the optics of weak light, light is deflected or delayed, but its frequency is unchanged. Meanwhile, on, in nonlinear optics, which is optics of intense light, we are concerned with the effects that life itself induces as it propagates through the medium. Nonlinear optics allows us to change the color of a light beam, to change its shape in space and time, to switch telecommunication systems, and to create the shortest events ever made by men. In the example, sending infrared light into a crystal yielded this display of green light. In linear optics, a light wave acts as on a molecule which vibrates and then emits its own light wave that interferes with the original light wave. On the other hand, in nonlinear optics, if irradiance is high enough, vibrations at all frequencies corresponding to all energy differences between populated states are produced. Nonlinear optics is the study of interaction of light and matter. We can control N by the light itself or manipulate one beam with the other. N, by the way, is the index of refraction of light. Nonlinear optics leads to a great variety of technical innovations. Optical wave manipulation is one of the future technologies for optical processing under non linear optics. It has various applications in the fiber optic communications and optoelectronics, which makes it an increasingly important topic among electrical engineers. Nonlinear optics is the science of materials that do not behave linearly when exposed to light, and one of the major applications of nonlinear optics is a phenomenon we call second harmonic generation. Essentially, second harmonic generation is a phenomenon in which certain crystals which exhibit nonlinear behaviors will combine two photons to form one new photon when exposed to light at a certain angle. This allows the production of some frequency of light from a source of half the frequency. So for example, there is a handheld laser pointer known as diode pumped solid state laser 
These lasers have a first component, which is a diode laser. It produces laser radiation at wavelength of 1064 nanometers. And then, this light is shown into a special frequency doubling crystal, which creates the second harmonic generation, and that produces light at 532 nanometers, which rather conveniently is green light. And since our eyes are more sensitive to green light, that makes these lasers very useful. Monopotassium phosphate is a chemical substance that when crystallized functions as a nonlinear element and in particular does second harmonic generation or frequency doubling. In fact, it is most commonly used in that exact application for green laser pointers. Another example of a nonlinear material is fluorescine doped boric acid glass or FBAG. So, in a chemical point of view, nonlinear crystals play a key role in the propagation and generation of second harmonic and third generation light waves of different frequencies in nonlinear optical devices. Nonlinear optics is applied in optical phase conjugation, optical parametric oscillators, optical computing, optical switching, and optical data storage. More commonly, nonlinear optics is used in light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, high resolution spectroscopy, medical research, environmental monitoring, display technology, and precision frequency metrology. Optical techniques can provide a number of ways of extending the information processing capability of electronics. Large quantities of data can be generated from different resources and powerful computer is required to process them. Just electronics are not enough for this and therefore optics can provide some solutions. Digital optical computer requires the use of nonlinear optics. The field of nonlinear optics today has grown into a vast enterprise with a considerable potential for technological applications. The nonlinear optical materials needed for optimized components, however, have not yet been realized. New nonlinear optical materials and devices are in various stages of development. Organic nonlinear optical materials are thought to play a key role in the future of NLO. Purely Optical information processing looms on our horizon.